In this video, I'm going to make a tree topper and show how one simple change can make removing supports very easy. I'm importing a Thingiverse file, this famous low poly Pikachu. Rotate it upright. And I want to cut a hole in the bottom so it can be inserted into a tree branch. First, I need to right click on its name and turn off the design history. Now I can select it, right click, and choose Mesh to B Rep. And if the mesh has no holes, then it will successfully convert. Now click on Create Cylinder, click on the horizontal plane. I'm orbiting underneath to make placing the cylinder easier. Click on a center point, click the diameter, and extrude the cylinder through the model. Since the combined function was set on cut, it extruded instead of making a new solid. Now I'm going to select this edge and fillet it. Making this cylindrical will mean that the supports will not stick to it as well and they'll be easy to remove. Here I'm bringing it into Simplify 3D and under Tools, click on Create Custom Supports, Generate Automatic Supports, and Simplify thinks all these parts need supporting. I only want the supports in the hole, so I'm going to click on Remove Existing Supports and then click on each one to remove them. As I know from experience, supports aren't needed here. Prepare to print. And let's take a look at those supports. Notice I don't have a raft, and that's because I'm printing it on my LoseBot TAS6 that has a heated bed. And look how nicely these supports came out. I did paint the ears. I used an enamel paint stick. I spray painted some clear glitter onto it. And I added some duct tape for the eyes. And there you have it.